The blacker the better. The blacker the better. Bro, y'all really out here under vegetables, huh? Yes, sir. Fucking with the vegetables. What's your favorite? Around the corner from Blue Flame, bro. What's your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable? Watermelon. That's a fruit. <laughs> Nigga, change the question in a minute, huh? That's What's your favorite vegetable? Nigga said a watermelon. That's a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, make a t shirt with a watermelon on it. said watermelon. That's a fruit. <laughs> That'd be dope. It's hard. What's your favorite vegetable? To grow or to eat? Both. Uh, let's see, to grow. I like the challenge of the carrots. I'm still working on that. Still trying to perfect them? Yeah. <laughs> Slow and steady. Yeah, the carrots. Yeah, because, you know, it'd be looking crazy and everything growing up. And then you pull it out, it'd be dud. <laughs> <laughs> if they grow underground, you just never know. That's what's yeah. up, man. So I like the surprise of that. Um, to eat, probably most frequently kale. That's what's up, man. Collards. That's what's up, man. I got I got my info on y'all too, man. You know, I got my I got my notes over here, bro. We're gonna really get into this shit, man. Speaking of getting into this shit, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Black Excellence Spotlight. You know what this is about. This is where we we go search through the community and we find black people doing excellent things. That's how we got these two strapping young gentlemen in here with me today, bruh. Let me make sure I give y'all a proper dope ass intro. Check this out, bruh. I got my man, Desmond Bakersville in here. Baskerville. Huh? Baskerville. Oh, wait a minute. Baskers Baskersville? Baskerville. This shit ain't say, okay, Baskerville? Baskerville. Baskersville, start over. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I got my motherfucking man, Desmond Baskersville in here. <laughs> I still said this shit wrong, but what I got it close. Say it. Baskerville, Desmond Baskerville. I'm high, bro. Nah, it's, all it's Desmond. We there you go. Some... It's Desmond. Just say Desmond. Desmond. <laughs> Chris, Tuffer, <laughs> Lemon. <laughs> and to make sure I broke that shit down. Now, what's up, hey, bro? Hey, Rodney and Sean, they put they put that name in there for a reason. Nah, bro. How y'all living, man? Welcome to the trap. Man, we appreciate you having us, yeah. dog. For real, for real, man. Appreciate Thank y'all thinking Thank of you. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we living good, man. Growing good, you know, trying to grow community. Get this thing popping. That's you know dope I mean? how you flip that. Grow the community. That's right. <laughs> Bro, tell me about it, man. It's, you don't get, it's like, this shit is so dope because you don't meet a whole lot of people. That's doing what y'all doing right now, bro. Right. Yeah, so we the dynamic duo of Gratitude Botanical Farm. Right mm -hmm. over on the west side of the city of Atlanta. We've been running our farm for right at three years. Now we're about to hit our um, third year anniversary in, um, in July. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, bro? To me, the dopest thing is y'all right there by the flame. Yeah. yeah, right there on the good old west side of Atlanta. Both of us That's from so Atlanta. That's so dope, bro. I wish DC was here. He would lose his mind if he knew yes, yes, bro, what y'all like, were doing over there on the west side. You yeah, could bro. pick up some 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 good veg and then, you know, go do what you got to do. They shift it, you know, like, there you go. Bro, you show up at the flame with a bag of vegetables. <laughs> that be so hard. I want to do it. Bro, what was the inspiration? What was the motivation? How did y'all link together on this shit? So me and Desmond, we done known each other since we were four years old, bro. We went to pre-K together. Bro, um, that's so rare that you even see a black black uh, friendship last that long. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. For, I mean, just growing up on the south side of the city of Atlanta, you know, like, there's a black autonomy down there. You know there what you I mean? Go. Like, it, it's days where, like, we don't see white people. You know what I mean? Like, the dentist that we just had, you know, the doctor, all that, you know, those are the people that we would see. So just knowing that things, you could achieve things and, you know, there were expectations for you to, you know, make it happen. Yeah. Um, but, you know, just the farm got started. Um, I'm a master gardener. Um, I've been doing that for about four years. Wait a minute, man. Fuck that. <laughs> what, is, what is 
does that mean? Break that title down. So this is something that anybody that's interested in growing their own food or want to know more about agriculture and horticulture, every state in the United States of America has an extension office. And each part of that extension office from their land grant institutions, they do what's called a master gardener's program. So they teach people about how to grow their own food, about different landscape plants, about water management, about organics, about chemical usages and things like that. So um, probably about four years ago, when I was still working at Home Depot, I burned through some vacation time to get the certification. And you know, I really learned that. I'm one of the few young African-American men that um, that's a part of that program in the state of Georgia. So that's kind of what got my start. Mm -hmm. um, from there, I was running our community garden over in People's Town, right around the corner from here. Um, and my boy reached out to me. Yeah, so that whole time I was more of a hobbyist. Uh, both of us are ancestral farmers, so it's not like a first time thing for our family. His, his family, they've been growing in McDonough for generations. My family been growing up in Virginia for generations. And then so like we came down here, both of us work in corporate and stuff like that. And I just always had my eyes on the out, you know, if that Bro, makes sense. Are y'all niggas time travelers? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you said ancestral farmers. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> you done fucked me up with that one, bro. But that's hard. Yeah, yeah. Life, life for me, bro, like um, farming goes back in my family at least five or six generations. Like we, we look up our family's records. So like we done found, you know, family going back to like when we got bought from North Carolina to here like in 1846. So, you know what I mean? Just knowing your history and like this, that piece of heritage and stuff like that. I mean, um, where my family grows food at down in McDonough, that's land that my great great grandfather bought over a hundred years ago that you know the family still is on. Mm. So that's real. That's, real. That's, real. that's dope as fuck, man. What y'all got in this bag right here? Man, go ahead, bro. Bust it out for him. What, what we got it? What we got it here? We got, we got some good, like, some good, good fresh up. produce and, and, we got some and work goodies for you, man. Do me a favor. Stunt the fresh produce. Man. <laughs> Let's start off with this good lettuce. Come on, man. Harvest it today. Like I said, what? We like three miles from here. This like is it. lettuce grown by black people. Look at that. Black people <laughs> lettuce. Hey, we White got some black Bankhead people lettuce. And Martin Luther King. Yep. Fairborough Road. You know what I mean? Lettuce from the west side. Really, Come really, on. we really in the city, really doing it. <laughs> and now, this is what I want to show you right here. So this is some of our, our fresh, dry herbs that we do. Not so that's, le that's lemongrass right there that you can use in a loose leaf tea or if you like want to take top. a bath. Give me the top. You know what I mean? Give me All the that. Fucking top. Now, <laughs> I can drink this and take a bath in it. Yeah, bro. It's Same good. Time. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> now, this right here, this is the one that's going to set it off for you. We got this from a brother named Bill. If you're on Instagram, it's Down South Organic Gardener. We got this uh, honey right out of zone three. Bro, that's the most gangster honey. Yes, yeah. bro. <laughs> the, the, the motherfucker got a felony already, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, like, this is this is black people honey. Yeah, bro. Like you were saying, big, black big honey. up the bill. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we will stunt on these motherfuckers. Fresh lemon grass. Where my sharpie at? You gotta sign it. <laughs> Can I get the sharpie? This is too hard, bro. I mean, what else like, in here, man? Man, we got some kale in here for you. So Go to kale. Um, it's the red Russian kale right here, see? Got red that nice Russian. little good color to it. Now see, and, and see, Dad's about to get cussed out by his wife right here. <laughs> wow. These are the candles that him and his wife make. So like, these are what's called value-added products. Let me see that. You know, check, we, check, check we got that some out. candles check that, you know, we're going off in here too. Uh, go ahead, check that out. Okay. Check that out, let her, go ahead, spark it up. Okay, I see what you're doing. Spark it up. I like that. But these are what's called value added products. So, you know, most farmers just making money off of selling vegetables, you're not really gonna eat like that. So you have to be able to develop and make your own products, you know what I mean, to help sustain what you do. Um, you know, besides just tea and candles, we also produce a hibiscus jam and we also make um, hot sauce jalapeno and jalapenos. Hot sauce. Yes, Big sir. up the chef Zoo. I want some King's hibiscus apron. jam. <laughs> <laughs> But that's the thing, though. All our stuff is seasonal, so you got to catch it while it's hot. You know what I'm saying? It ain't hibiscus season. Not yet. It's on the way. Yeah, bro. <laughs> In about two months. All right, bro. In about two they months. We're going to pull, we gonna pull up with some biscuits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some vegan biscuits. Man, that's so fucking cold, man. Yeah, bro. What else in that bitch? 
<laughs> These ain't got a grocery bag. Full yeah, of bro. good groceries. Yeah. That's grown good. on the west side. Cherry bell radishes. These are good to top this good kale and lettuce with in your salad mix. Come on, man. Now, right in here, we also do herbs. So this is some cilantro. It's a little wilted right now. But when we talk about fresh herbs and the things that they do for your body, cilantro is a good herb that helps remove like a lot of heavy metals and toxins and things like that. So like that little piece when you're eating it sometime and you know your body feel good, that's some of the endorphins that's released from when you use herbs. Talk your shit, And bro. then also, bro, what we brought you is an herb called mugwort. Um, it's, a common, or it's a common weed that people might call ragweed in the yard. But this is something that's good for like lucid dreams. Um, they also use decoctions and make medicines from this for people that have mental illnesses and things like that. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about like farming and what we do, bro, we really are trying to like educate our community about, you know, plants and flora and fauna and things like that. Like say for instance, bro, you might got on some cologne. Somebody got paid to travel you know what I mean, to a foreign country to go to the jungle to find that little flower that smells just that good to put in the cologne when they make the distillations. And so those are the kinds of things we want to expose our kids and our communities to. That's what I'm saying, talk your shit, bro. Yeah. Talk all so, up. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we got right now. And uh, like right there at the farm, we do educational things. We have uh, monthly volunteer days. So anybody is open, you can pull up. Um, we have our produce available right there. We also partner with uh, another black owned business called The Better Buggy. They do uh, mm. delivery. Mm. So straight from the farm to your door, you know what I mean? You can get that from- Y'all on social media? Yeah, yes, we sir. definitely on social media. It's right here on the shirt. It's Gratitude Botanical Farm. We also have a web store. It's www.gratitudeatl.com. So any of the products that you want to interact with or you just want to sign up to keep updates and alerts going, going you know, that's that's what we do. Yeah, um, man, I know, definitely. We're we very, we very community oriented. No um, cap, I'm trying to keep up with high biscuit season. <laughs> hey, we here for you. <laughs> well, like, trust me, man, we're going we gonna to hook you up with, with the Zobo tea mix. So, you know, like in, in Jamaica, in Jamaica, they call it sorrel, but in Africa, they call it zobo. So like they bust it down with the lemongrass and the ginger, you know, and it's real good to drink. So it's we'll hook you up with your own three honey. zone three honey, bro. From zone three bees, you know what I'm saying? The queen of zone three. She was Bruh. in the hive. Bro. <laughs> Hey man, and that's that, some that's cold a, shit. That's the thing, bro, because you know there's people in our communities and our neighborhoods that that might got cases and felonies and stuff like that. So you can't get a traditional job. But guess what? You sit up here make your own honey. You know how much like locally grown honey goes for? They don't. That's why they need you to tell them. You know what this I mean? Or like, or when we talk about like, you know, hey, bro, you want to transition out of selling weed? Like you can start selling mushrooms, like legal mushrooms mm -hmm. that, that people eat, you know what I mean? And you getting more per gram than you would for selling weed and you ain't gonna get cased up. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. So it's just like little things like that that we trying to do to show people, you know, like, hey, you can look at this differently and excuse my language, but this ain't no slave shit. You know yeah. what I mean? This is more about empowerment because at the end of the day, what they did was they kind of finessed us. It was like, y'all know all the land and all the nature. And so they took that away and made us value these corporate, these paperwork, all that stuff. And then they went and took the land and the nature. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Bro, that's, that's some cold game right he there. He who controls your food controls you. You know what I mean? And if, if this last year showed anybody anything, like the prices went up soon as the pandemic hit. You know what I mean? Like everything costs more. And folks are running out of lettuce. Folks are running out of chicken. Folks are running out of milk. You know, and, and I ain't running out of shit. I'm plugged <laughs> in with y'all. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I ain't plugged in with y'all. Hyper local. Bro. And we're gonna have lights because we got these good, you know, soy candles and shit going on. That's right, man. Sir. Drop the social media one more time and it's let them know. It's Gratitude Botanical Farm, y'all. Y'all can go to the website. It's gratitudeatl.com. Hey, man, for all the people who, you know, may want to collab on, it's some, some more black farmers and stuff gonna catch on to this, man. Oh so yeah, we definitely right. want to give a shout out to all our brothers and sisters yeah. that's out here doing this all across America, from the big farms to the urban farms around the different communities, you know what I mean? Like it really, this is something that's really gonna change the game in America if we do this right. Yeah, exactly. So we just trying to, you know what I'm saying? If you, you gotta see it to be it, right? So Shit. we just trying to be it. There it is.
That's, that's the perfect out right there, man. <laughs> Ain't no more to say, man. Make sure you lock in so you can get you some, you know what I'm saying, fresh lemongrass. You can drink it and take a bath in it. <laughs> Gratitude, ATL. Appreciate Gratitude. 85 South Show. Black Excellence Spotlight. <laughs> One more did you ask for? <laughs>